Nick Keller here with the Campbell Keller team of Keller Williams Legacy. As always, appreciate taking a few minutes to uh, check out our video blog. Today's topic, I wanted to address Zestimate and how much value or how much stock you should be putting into it. So first, I think it's important to define what exactly is the Zestimate. So Zestimate, per Zillow's website, is just an automated estimate using an algorithm to just give you a general idea on what your house might be worth. And they use physical attributes, tax assessments, and um, prior and current uh, sales data. What I call, I call that surface data. And while that stuff is important, I think if you're looking for true market value, you have to, you have to thoroughly look under the hood a little bit more in order to accurately depict how your, how your house should be positioned in the market. So number one would be amenities. So what kind of improvements have you done to the house? Not only um, cosmetically, like granite counters or ceramic tile floors or hardwood floors, but also structurally and, and from an energy efficiency standpoint, roof, siding, windows, all those things should be factored into market value. Uh, the flow of the home uh, and also the layout. So how many bedrooms and bathrooms do you have and where are they on each floor? So a lot of times you see a three bedroom, two bath and you, th you think they're equal, but if one house has three bedrooms, two baths, and both baths are on the uh, on the bedroom level, with one of them being a master bath, that's actually going to hold more value than if a bathroom's on the second level for all the bedrooms and one's in the basement. Uh, also, number three, analysis of the overall market and uh, the market performance and the the current climate. So. What's going on? Is it a buyer's market? Is it a seller's market? That's going to impact how your property is going to be positioned in terms of market value. Lastly, a proper valuation takes into account the actual condition of your home. So this would be this would go towards the showability, and that absolutely matters when it comes to market value. So, uh, is is it is do you have a house that's very plain? Do you have a house that's been improved and is immaculate? And then how does that fit? And that's not something that an automated estimate is going to be able to pick up on. So lastly, the one thing I want to point out is on Zillow's site, they actually encourage you to do other research when you want to value your home. So that could include having a realtor do a market analysis, uh, getting an appraisal done, and or physically viewing the property if you're a buyer looking to, uh, to, to purchase a home. And the one last thing I want to point out is a few examples personally that we've uh, worked with. Uh, in home sales and how they compared to the Zestimates that were out there. So in two cases, just most recently, there was Zestimates that were higher than what we actually sold the house for by about 12 to 16 percent. And that is actually pretty significant because if you were to rely on the Zestimate, here's where it could really harm you as a home seller. You're going to price it at that price point and if it doesn't sell, you're going to accumulate all these days on market and potentially end up selling for less than if you would have just started uh, from more practical from the get-go through a, a more thorough market analysis. Conversely, we've had two instances recently where a property was sold for more than what the estimate actually offered by about 3%. And while 3% doesn't sound like a big number, if you relate it into actual dollars on a $400,000 house, that could be $12,000, which is a lot of money. So that's all I have for today's topic. As always, if you have any questions or would like to see something covered in a future video, don't hesitate to reach out to me or one of our teammates directly. I'd be happy to help. Thanks again and have a great day.